So back in July 2020, I revealed that I had voiced a character on an animated show for Adult Swim. 12 Ounce Mouse is the brainchild of Matt Malero, who's also responsible for co-writing and creating shows like Aqua Teen Hunger Force, Perfect Hair Forever, and Soul Quest Overdrive. I had a role in the third season of Mouse as Aria. Stop! This isn't over. I absolutely loved every minute of it. I never ever expected to work as a voiceover artist, so it felt like the most hilarious experience which I completely expected to be a one-off. Well, Matt thought otherwise. He and I kept in touch, and I'm delighted to say that I play a role in his new movie, Pastocalypse, which is out now. My name is Matt Malero. I wrote and directed Pastocalypse. I voice a kick-ass character called, drumroll please, Mary. Holy shit, did you just see me swing in on that vine? That was like 300 yards of kick ass. Yeah. Her, her name is Mary. You gotta be squidding me! And we have an awful lot in common. Maybe she's a little bit more armed than, than I am. Not here yesterday. Um, but we, I, I still have a, I still have a teddy bear. This is how it goes. You join us, you fight. You don't fight, you're dead. See this bear? He's amazing. Remember that. The film's blurb says a billionaire celebrity chef seeks revenge on mankind when a global ban on gluten destroys his life. In the process, he disfigures to a hideous creature that threatens all of humanity. Welcome to the Pastolution, Bob. Now, let's see how far we can push this. Pastocalypse is, in Matt's own words, the apocalyptic pasta movie no one knew they needed. That's stupid. Pastocalypse is the uh, apocalyptic noodle movie that no one's ever done. And it came about because I came up with the title first. And I talked to Fox about the idea. And then they said, we really want to make that. It just it just sort of started forming in my head as like sort of my version of The Walking Dead and all the zombie shows that were popular back when I thought of the idea. So it's just kind of my concept on the apocalypse. You see up here, Stop, you I see all these noodles? They want to kill us. It'd be awesome if you could help. Just wanted to make a fun piece of work that wasn't mean spirited and um, just had a lot of entertainment to it. Can you fly, Emma? It's got an absolutely amazing cast who are all great names and have a wild list of credits in their own right. So it's an honor to be part of this. And yes, there is a little bit of imposter syndrome, but also maybe I just need to trust that Matt has impeccable taste. Yeah, miss all the enemies, but blow away the person who actually wants to help you. Who wants to swing around on some vines? I know a couple of good ones. As well as writing and producing these shows, Matt's also a musician and scored the music for the film. It was, man, it was so much fun doing that and delivering it and then hearing it back in, in the sound room, you know, while we're mixing it. I thought it turned out pretty good. Uh, just had a blast doing that, you know, like John Carpenter always scored his movies and I thought, I'm going to do this too. In fact, this should say Matt Malero's Postocalypse instead of, <laughs> but it doesn't. So if you like your comedy surreal or your pasta murderous, then I thoroughly recommend Pastocalypse. There is a link in the description. For those in the USA, it's available to watch for free on Tubi. For those elsewhere, please keep your eyes peeled for more information soon. I really, really hope that you get to see it. But can we also just talk about what an awful expression keep your eyes peeled is? But quite fitting for this movie, actually. Pretty fitting. Can you repeat that? We weren't listening. Yeah, I was busy looking for my shotgun. Also, voiceover agents call me. People are waiting for me to read the phone book. Yes, that is an actual comment I receive daily. Trying to take it as a compliment, but anyway. Blowing him up was our only option. I mean, he was a noodle. Finally, if you enjoy the movie, please consider rating it highly on IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes. And who knows, perhaps we'll meet Mary again. How's this? Is this helping you? Whippy sticks in your face? Who's in there? Oh yeah, it, it's it's us. We're uh, noodle gods. The door won't open and we're late for the thing that noodles do at this time of day. <laughs> Shh, he's sleeping. I'm writing the second one right now. I'm in the third draft. It hasn't been greenlit for production, but it's they they wanted the sequel. They always talk to me about this as a franchise. And I said, okay, we'll see where we get with this first one. So hopefully we'll go number two, number three. I already pitched the third one. It's a spaghetti Western. 
Holy macaroni. Is that a ship made of noodles? And it's Tubi's first movie, developed it with Fox. And if you see one movie this year, make it Pastacoips. Oh God, not again. We're in the middle of a noodle-demic and you're chasing girls in the woods. What's this one's name? Candy, Cadillac, Bambi. Everyone remembers Bambi.